British Blind Sport Active at Home with Natalie Jameson. Online classes and sessions provided by British Blind Sports and our partners are for educational purposes only. They should not be used as a specific treatment plan or course of action. The creators, producers, participants, instructors and or distributors of these programmes cannot claim any liability for injury or loss in connection with the exercises, activities or advice contained herein. Exercise is not without risk of injury, aggravation of pre-existing conditions or overexertion and therefore you should always consult a healthcare professional for appropriate exercise advice and safety precautions. To minimise the risk of injury, please ensure that you have appropriate clear space, free furniture and or obstacles as required by the exercise. As with any exercise programme, if you feel faint, dizzy or have any physical discomfort during a session, you should stop immediately and seek medical advice. Any participant of these online sessions assumes the risk of injury from performing the exercises or activity as described. Hi everyone and welcome to December's Active at Home uh, with Natalie Jameson. Myself. Hope you're all well, enjoying sort of festive spirits and obviously getting ready for Christmas. So today's class is just going to be a little hip workout. Um, kind of mainly sort of lower body, just do what you can. What we're going to do is sort of three rounds, if you think of that, but the rounds are going to be split into sort of two mini rounds, okay? So think of it as sort of maybe six rounds in total or three rounds, it will be to it yourself. Um, the exercises that we are going to be doing today, um, I'll just run them through just now and then I'll give you a wee sort of demonstration of them all, give you a wee overview of what they are. So we're going to be starting off with squats. So for those of you that are new, for a squat all we're going to do, we want to be standing up nice and tall. So every time we are doing um, exercises, think about keeping that head up nice and straight. Um, sort of in your mind's eye, think of looking straight ahead. Um, make sure the chest is out and our back's nice and neutral, okay? So for our squat, all you're going to do is have your feet about hip width apart. Um, and all we're going to do is think about pushing the knees forward and sinking the hips down towards the ground. Just go uh, as far as you can, but again, keeping that chest forward and slowly coming down. You kind of want the hips to come down to the stage where they're parallel with your knees. Um, if you can't get that, don't worry. Just do what you can. The second exercise that we're going to do is called a plie squat. So something a wee bit different today. So all we want to do is we're going to keep our feet or our feet hip width apart. At the moment, they should probably be facing forward. All you're going to think about doing is turning them as though they are sort of horizontal on the ground. If you think it that way, um, if you can't quite get that, don't worry about maybe. Slightly more than 45 degrees, okay? Um, the idea of this being is like a bit like a ballerina when you do a plie, okay? So all we're going to do is turn our feet out and we're just going to squat down. So just that same movement before, pushing those hips back and squatting down, okay? Just do what you can and take your time. The third exercise that we're going to do is our lunge pulses, okay? So, all we're going to do for our lunge, um, again, stand up nice and tall. We're going to either, you can either take one foot forward or one step forward or one step back. I prefer to take a step back. Uh, it helps me get a bit more balanced, but also do what you can. Um, you can obviously stand next to a wall for this if you need to hold on again for that balance. But try not lean too much onto that arm because um, we don't want to compromise our form. So taking the step back, when we take a step back, I want you to think about being up on your tippy toes. And all we're going to do is bend the front knee and bend the back leg. What we don't want is that front knee coming over the sort of our toes. So making sure everything's nice and light. Once you have that balance, all you're going to think about doing is lowering that knee to the ground, not quite touching the ground and then coming back up. So just like a slight pulse. So down maybe just a tiny amount, back up. So just little pulses, okay? The final exercise is sort of round, mini round one, 
is our squat into a side lunge. So all you want to do is we're just going back to the start of our squat. Uh, that movement, so we're just squatting down. And all you want to do when you're in the down phase, so when your hips are in line with your knees, think about staying here and taking one step out to the side, to so the right or left. So when you take a step out, I want you to think about the leg that you've just stepped out. So for example, your right leg, that's going to be bent. The knee's going to be bent. And the leg that's stayed behind is going to be nice and straight. Okay? So in the squat position, taking a step out, keeping the leg that sort of fits nice and straight, and then stepping back in. Okay? That's our side. Lunge. So that's round one. Don't worry, as we go through the rounds, I will remind you. Um, round two, we're going to be down either on the mat or carpet or whatever you have. So the four exercises that we're going to be doing is our glute bridge, single glute bridge, and then we're going to have donkey kicks and fire hydrants. So we've done my classes before. Um, these should be pretty familiar, but those of you that are new, what we're going to do, we're just going to start off with a glute bridge, okay? So I want you to lie down on your mat, floor, whatever you have. Your feet, the base of your feet should be faced uh, on the mat, um, and your knees pointing to the ceiling. That's our starting position. All I want you to do, pushing through sort of your feet lifting your hips up so you're pushing the hips up off the ground until they are sort of in line with your knees and uh, so thinking about pushing them up and you can basically have this sort of straight line going from your hip top to your thighs up to your knees okay so push them up when we push up to the top i want you to hold for a second or two and then come back down. So that's our standard glute bridge. We're then going to move on to our single leg glute bridge. Can't speak today. And so for this one, what we're going to do, go back into your starting position of a glute. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg off the ground so the toe, your toes are pointing to the ceiling. We're going to hold this leg up. And then all you're going to do is push through that foot that's still on the ground and lift your hips up and then come back down. But keep that leg in the air. Uh, we're going to do five reps on one leg and then switch over to five reps on the other. That's our two glute movements. We're then going to go into our donkey kicks. So our donkey kicks, we're going to roll over onto our front. So we're going to roll over onto our hands and knees. And then all I want to think about doing is in your hands and knees, all you're going to think about doing is lifting the knee off the ground and kicking out behind to the base of your foot is pointing up to the ceiling, okay? Try on the opposite side, try not to drop that hip, keeping the hip nice and straight. And then we're finishing off with our fire hydrants. Again, you've probably done these a few times. Uh, the reference that we tend to use now is thinking about a male dog going to the toilet. So we're starting on our hands and knees. And all we need to think about doing from your knee, thinking about drawing sort of a quarter circle or quarter line with your knee. So you almost bring it from on the mat up to about a kind of 90 degree angle, okay? So that's all the exercises that we're going to be doing. So next step we're going to do now is just a wee sort of warm up and then we'll get started, okay? So all I want you to do is just start with a little mark from the spot just to kind of get warmed up and loosened off. Just a little march from the spot. We're not going to warm up a lot of the upper body, um, just because this exercise is pretty, sorry, this class 
Hasadi is primarily lower body. Okay, so what I want to do now is just take that into a little jog. I'm just going to keep that as a march at the moment. But you continue on with your jog, it just makes it easy to speak. Okay, awesome. What I want you to do is come back down into that march. What I want you to do is just lift the leg up a little bit further, as though we're going to high knees, okay? So you're just bringing your knees up to into your chest. That's awesome. You can take that into a slight jog if you want to go a bit more, a little faster. That's great, awesome. Okay, finish off the sort of warm up. Um, all we're going to do is go into what we call butt kicks. So I'm just doing this side on for anyone that can see it, but also so I don't kick the radiator behind me. All we're going to do is think about literally kicking your feet up behind you as though you're trying to kick your bum. And you need to take this into a march if you need to slow it down, or take it into a slight jog if you want that little bit of speed. I'm just going to keep it as a march again. That's great. Okay, we're just going to keep this going a little bit longer. Again, it's just to make sure our legs are nice and warm. That heart rate's raising a wee bit. Awesome. Coming back into the centre when you're ready. And we're just going to finish off with sort of a little kind of wee interval. Um, interval sprints. So all I want you to do when I say go, you're just going to either jog or you go as fast as you can with your feet. So the fast feet is just lifting the feet off the ground ever so slightly, but going as fast as you can. Go to do that for about 10 seconds and then I'll see you stop and you just need to go back into your march or jog, okay? So whatever's comfortable for you. So just start off with that jog or march. Okay, and fast feet, let's go. We're gonna go for 10 seconds. And stop. Awesome, so you're gonna have a little bit of a break, and I'll tell you to go again. We're only gonna do a couple of these. Again, it's just to get that body warmed up. Best one now, we come into the colder season. Okay. And three, two, one, get fast feet. Keep going, keep going. That's it, you can do it. And stop. Okay, we're going to do one more of these. Just get my balance. My back keeps moving. So one more of these, and then we'll be good to go straight into the first round, okay? So the rounds, explain how we are going to complete each round after this final stage. Okay, let's go. Fast week another 10. And stop in there, awesome. Okay, just grab a little drink. Maybe it's dehydrated through this, okay? So. What we're going to do, it's going to be sets that we're going to do through, sorry, reps that we're going to do through this. So I'll obviously tell you how many reps we're going to do of each exercise as we come to it. But for squats, we're going to start with 20 reps. Just go at your own pace, there's no rush. Um, if you haven't obviously finished the 20 reps, by the time obviously I've moved on to the second exercise, that's totally fine. Just obviously pause the video and go at your own pace. Just do what you can, okay? So we're going to start with 20 reps for our squats and 20 reps for our plyo squats. Okay, so let's go. 20 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Awesome. Okay, okay. So I will give you a couple of seconds to sort of recover in between each exercise, okay? So we're going to our plyo squats. So remember, just turn those feet out. And you're going to give me 20 of these. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Awesome. Okay, we're going to lunch pulses next. I want we're going to be doing twenty in total. But you're going to do it sort of four sets of five, okay? So five one leg, five the other leg, back to five on the first leg, five in a second, okay? So just get into position. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch legs. One, two, three, four. Five, switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. And back to that second leg. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, finish off with our squat to side lunge, okay? So I'm going to start off with my right leg. That's going to be one. Then come over to your left. It's two, back to right. But you can do whatever order you want, okay? So we're just doing 10 of these because they are quite challenging and they're new. So squat down, out to the side, one, back to centre, out to the side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so when you do this, remember to stay in that down phase for the squats, okay? So that's the end of round one. Um, not round one, round mini one. I'm going out getting myself muddled up. So grab a quick drink. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds in between the mini rounds just to recover, okay? I don't understand. Awesome. Remember to stay hydrated, okay? So remember this next round, we're going to be down on our mat, our carpet, and we're going to be going into our glutes. Starting off with our standard group glutes, we're going to be doing 10 of those, and then 10 single leg glutes, okay? And then also I'll tell you what the last two are when we get to them. Okay, so let's go. 10 glutes. So remember, feet on the ground, pushing up through the hips. One, holding it at the top for about two seconds and then dropping down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, switching to single leg. Let's go. So you're going to do five on one leg, five on the other, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Switching sides. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go into our 
Donkey kicks next. Again, rolling over to our hands and knees. And what we're going to do, five on one, sorry, we're going to do alternate legs. So we're going to do 20 in total. So we're going to alternate the legs that we kick out. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to 20, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Okay. End of round one. Take a drink. If you need it. Okay, so we're going to move on to round two. Pretty much the reps are going to be the same. The two mini rounds are going to be the exact same. So I said just grab a drink. We're going to take a little bit of recovery. Uh, probably another 30 to 40 seconds recovery. And then we're going to go back into our squats, okay? So just catch your breath. Nice deep breath in. So about 20 seconds and then we'll go into our next round, okay? So remember we're doing 20 squats, 20 plio squats, 20 lunge pulses, and then 10 uh, squat to side lunge. Okay, so let's go into our squats. So 20 of these. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go into our 20 Leo squats. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Okay, so remember next is our lunge pulses. Five per leg. Then we switch it and we'll go up to 20, okay? You just got your own pace. And go. One, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. And switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay. Lunge, sorry, squat to side lunge to finish off. Squat down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Have a quick drink. So that 25 seconds to recover, and then we're going to our glutes. So remember to turn on our mat. We do 10 of these. 
and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to our single leg. So remember, five on one leg, five on the other, okay? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Got a donkey kick next. And we were doing plenty. So alternate legs. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. I've just realized at the end of the first round, then do our fire hydrant. So at the end of the first um the donkey kicks in the first round, just pause the video and do your 20 fire hydrants. Okay. So we're gonna do our 20 fire hydrants now, okay? So let's go. One, two. So try and do alternate legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Awesome, well done. Okay, just off and have to have a drink. Probably my brain is a bit fried with Christmas today. So as I said, just to repeat, at the end of the first round, at the end of our donkey kicks, you either just pause the video um, or get your 20 fire hydrants in and Take a uh, your break, okay? I do apologize for that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the our third round. So our this is our final round. We've got the two minis, the exact same sort of exercises that we've been doing, and the same reps. And then at the end of the third round, we'll do a little sort of two or three minute finisher, okay? Just again, just to get that heart rate up, really boost that fitness. Okay, so I'm going to give us about another 25 seconds and then we're going to go into round three. So make sure during this time, I stay hydrated, get some water in and just get your breathing back under control. So we're going to go in a couple of seconds, so remember 20 squats. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Okay. We're going to go into a plie squat. Let's go. We're going to do 20. One, two, three, four. Five, six, so I'm going to keep that head and chest up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Awesome. We're going to a lunge pulses next. So we have a five each leg, 20 in total. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Our squat to side lunge. That's the last one. Let's do it. We're just doing 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Awesome. Feel that through my legs now. Now a quick joint if you need it. We're going to have final mini round. Okay. Finishing off with our glute bridges. Single goat bridges, donkey kicks, and fire hydrants. We're just going to take a sort of 10 seconds and then we'll get into it. Okay, let's go. 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Single glute bridges. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three. Four, five, awesome. Okay, donkey kicks. Okay, let's go. Twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Okay, finish off the fire hydrants. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Awesome. Well done, everyone. It's the end of that round. That was probably pretty tough. Which one? So I'll just stop for a second. I'll come over we'll stop for about a minute and I'll explain what a little finisher is. Please do grab a drink. Um, stay hydrated. 
going to get some water. Okay, so we're going to do a little two minute finisher. Um, all we're going to do is you're going to do a squat and hold. So when we go into the down phase of our squat, that's when our hips are sort of parallel to our knees or as close as possible. You're going to hold that um, for 20 seconds. You're going to have a little come out of a 10 second break and we're going to repeat that four times, okay? This is really going to burn our, so, um, burn our quads, but it'll be worth it, okay? And we can do it. This is the last little bit of work. Then we'll go into a little cool down and we'll just get stretched off, okay? Okay. That's it. 20 seconds. And let's go. Squat and hold. So I'll just sort of time it on my watch and I'll count you through it. So halfway through. Let's keep going, just holding strong. And time. So a little 10 second break and then we do that again, okay? And go. That's it, doing awesome. So I know this is probably going to burn, but that's okay. We're halfway through. And out. Awesome. Two more to go. We can do it. And go. Stay nice and strong. Keeping that chest up, back straight. Halfway. Keep going. And time. One more to go. This last one, I'm going to hold it for 30 seconds, okay? Just that wee final push. And go. I'll give you a count at 10, 20 seconds through, okay? So we're at 10 seconds, we've got 20 to go. Do something with your happy place or something we saw in your head. 20 seconds through, 10 to go. Come on, we can do it. This little last push. Feel the burn through your legs, but that's fine. Hold it, hold it, and stop. Awesome, well done. Just give your legs a wee shake out. I know that was pretty tough. Yeah, absolutely nailed it. So just grab a quick drink if you need it. And um, we'll just go into our sort of cool down. So what we're going to do is just try and hold on to a wall or window. I've got the window ledge next to me, but something that's kind of at a decent height. Um, and all I want you to do is just sort of swing your leg. Point the toe and bring it behind. So you swing it forward and back, just nice and slow. It's just to help loosen off the glute, but really, really slow. And switch sides. So the leg that we are swinging should be opposite to the arm or hand that you've got holding on to something. So do please try and hold on for this one. Again, nice and slow. We push that leg back, really think about sort of squeezing the glute. Really stretch it out. Awesome. Okay. Continue to hold on to something if you have to. We're just going to stretch out the quad. Um, again, I'm just going to hold on to the window. So my balance isn't that great. All I want to do is grab the ankle, bring it up behind, bring the knees together. And then think about pushing the hip forward slightly. You should feel that down your thigh. Just going to nice deep breaths while we do this. And switch sides. 
again, ankle up behind. And you probably have one leg that's easier than the other. My left needs to be better than my right. Just depends on your flexibility. Just stand nice and tall, bring the knees together, push them through the hip. Awesome, just got that leg. Okay. What we need to do is just take the white, your feet as wide as apart as you can. And all we're going to do is just sort of drop the arms, or hang the arms in between. So it shouldn't be quite touching the floor, it should just sort of be hanging. This will just help stretch out our back. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Awesome. All we're going to do is just come down, either touch the mat, touch your ankles. Try and keep the legs as straight as possible, just so we stretch up behind. Awesome, we're going to slowly come back up. Okay, we're just going to finish off by stretching off the hips. So I want you to do is thinking about full head of proposal. So we're just going to come down onto the mat. One knee should be nice and flat on the ground. The other one, your base of your foot should be on the mat. Knee point to the ceiling. It says like you're proposing to somebody for marriage. And all you want you to do, you can hold on again for this, just for a bit of stability. Thinking about pushing that hip forward and really sort of pushing into that front foot and pushing the hip forward. And you should feel the stretch down your hip flexor. Again, it's probably deeper into the quads as well. So I'm just holding on, it just helps that little bit of balance. And I can deepen that stretch. Switch legs. You don't need to swap hands to hold on or anything like that. Um, so again, Pose into somebody, push down onto that front foot and pushing the hip forward. Sit nice and deep, we're scrolling this for a few more seconds. And coming back, awesome. Well done everyone. So that's the sort of end of this little class, this routine. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, any concerns regarding the next exercises, anything you didn't quite understand, just leave a comment under this video or um, leave a, a little post on the Add to the Home and I'm more than happy to help you out. But again, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and Happy New Year when it comes and look forward to seeing you all in January. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us. For more accessible at-home workouts, head over to www.britishblindsport.org.uk.